Hi guys, I am Viva. Today I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite Italian appetizers and that's tomato and basil bruschetta. I had the pleasure to live in Italy for a while when I was in my 20s. I lived in Milano and I have some of my favorite dishes from there that I love so much. I'll be sharing some of them in some future videos, but today we're making bruschetta or as we all know it here in the United States, bruschetta. I'm gonna need some tomatoes. I got some organic fresh basil. This is something you cannot substitute. A little red onion, garlic, salt and pepper, dried oregano, extra virgin olive oil, and a little balsamic vinegar. It's a beautiful day. Let's have some fun. I will start by chopping my tomatoes and I have chosen Roma tomatoes. Of course, feel free to choose any tomatoes of your liking. And I'm gonna chop them in a size that I like, which is not too large, not too small and watery. I'll show you right now, basically like that. This is the size I'm chopping my tomatoes to. This is to taste. Whatever your preference is, go ahead, chop them. Here are the tomatoes, they're ready. They're looking pretty good, actually. And I'm gonna cut some onions. And this has to be cut really, really well. Like, I mean, almost minced. Because I like the flavor but I don't want it to feel like uh, I get a whole bite of the onion. And this is how much I'm gonna cut. I lived in Italy, in the apartment next to my, was living this elderly woman. She would make delicious things, like authentic course Italian dishes so I learned a few things from her and it depends how big your cloves or garlic are in my case I'm gonna use two I'm just gonna lock them like that so it's easier to remove the skin and I'll cut them really nice and fine mince them Some basil. Get a few leaves, large leaves. Again, do not substitute that. You can't substitute basil in a bruschetta. Just gonna roll it like that and cut sl tiny slices. And on this I'll give some more chop because I want it to be everywhere. I chop some extra basil. It looks much better that way. Now I'm gonna add, I'm using Himalayan salt. Use any salt that you wish. And this is to taste, salt, pepper, basically the whole dish is to taste. It's not a dish, it's an appetizer, but... And now some dry oregano. I would say maybe a teaspoon. It smells amazing. And now extra virgin olive oil. about a taste tables, uh, tablespoon or so and just a splash of balsamic and I'll set it on the side 
to rest if you'd like you can place it in the refrigerator for about 15 20 minutes look at these guys this is so yummy it smells delicious I'm going to use baguette you can use a bread of your choice Italian ciabatta anything you wish and I'm gonna cut the baguette in like angle like that about maybe a quarter inch that's it I have a glove of garlic and each side I'm just gonna do that this side and then that side yes the juices will be here and after that I'm just gonna drizzle tiny little olive oil like that and spread it with my brush all the slices are ready guys so I'm ready to grill them I'm gonna use uh, electric grill and I'm gonna just spread some extra virgin olive oil on the top you need a nice hot surface to grill them if you don't have uh, electric grill or grill pan you can place them in the oven on about 375 degrees until you get them golden brown you can even toast them and I'm going to assemble them to show you how beautiful they look and now we're adding the mix on the top it's absolutely delicious it smells great a little basil on each of them on the top i do it by hand looks absolutely delicious I did assemble the rest of the bruschettas they smell delicious I can't wait a second more to try them let me just give it a bite hmm can you hear that it's absolutely delicious guys this is how you make authentic Italian tomato and basil bruschetta. If you like this recipe, give me the thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.